Well, hello everyone. Let me get seated. Welcome to Mariah So Inspirational. If this is your first time, I would love for you to like, share, and subscribe. Join the family. And to those that have already been showing so much support, I really truly appreciate you guys okay you guys keep it going get the word out remember that i am doing free readings okay so you guys can email me um you can look in the description box um and get my email if you want um personal readings right now i am helping humanity so i am just getting my work out you know showing the world but you guys, let's get started. I am doing a general tarot reading for our cancers, all right? So, remember this reading is just a general reading, okay? It can resonate or it cannot resonate, all right? It's just general. Time is fluid. So, this could have happened already. It's happening now or will happen in your near future, all right? You guys work with me, Holy Spirit, ancestors, great ancestors, archangel, romance angel, Holy Spirit, work with me. Allow this reading to be accurate. This is for our cancers, our water signs, spirit. Holy Spirit, this is for water signs, archangel, Michael. This is for our water signs. Come in, spirit, come in. Great spirits, come in. This is for Cancers. Cancers, I hope that you guys are doing lovely. I hope that you guys are doing well. All right. I'm just going to use my magic. You guys showed up in your own reading. Balance spirituality. Practically. You showed up in your own reading. This is for our Cancers. Cancers, Cancerians, Cancerians, what are y'all doing? Nothing is set in the stone. So this is like your past energy, current energy, and I'm going to pull one for your um, future energy. These are just oracle cards. I am going to clarify the oracle cards with tarot. It's this one because it wanted to come out. All right. Then for your future energy, it has step out of your comfort zone. Okay, you guys. I am going to get better with my stand, with my setup. But um, I also have my cash app in the description. So if you want to donate to the channel, I would truly love it. Okay. So, Spirit is saying believe in the impossible. So, Spirit is saying have faith. Continue to, you know, meditate. Pray to divine your source, the higher power. Spirit is also saying nothing is really set in stone. So, right now, like, some of you guys could be searching for an answer, trying to see what is what. But right now, nothing is set in stone. Continue to meditate and allow um, things to come to you freely, you know. Allow the angels to whisper in your ear. <laughs> okay. And then for your future energy, spirit is saying step out of your comfort zone. Okay. So some of you guys could be in that shell. You know, you guys are um, crafts. All right. So spirit, this is for cancers. Allow this reading to be accurate. You guys. You see my finger? I broke a nail dancing. So I know I was so happy. There was good energy. So, all right. I didn't even have to say anything. So for your past energy, um, when Spirit is telling you to um, focus on, you know, yourself, continue to, like, meditate, listen to meditation music, um, music to keep you calm. Um, it comes with a broken heart, okay? You get the Ten of Swords. So some of my cancers really could have been heartbroken, but still standing like, you know, nothing really happened. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the middle card. Nothing is set in, nothing is yet set. Oh, 
in stone. I didn't have to say too much. You get the tower, okay? So some things could really be happening to you guys as far as like um like marriage. I mean like it feels like a disaster type like um problems. So some of you guys could be facing some some real serious issues right now, but the divine is really stepping in and doing her work for you, okay? That's why nothing is yet set in stone because you don't even know or you don't know why these things are happening to you, but they're happening for your best good. They're happening for your good, okay, Cancers? If you can like this for me, Spirit can clarify. Step out of your comfort zone. Thank you, Spirit, for Cancers. This too, let me redo this. This is for Cancers. This future card. Why is this? Step out of your comfort zone, okay? Continue to find yourself. Continue to work hard. Continue to do what you have to do to get out of your shell, okay? You know, it's money to be made and it's, it's places to be. And only you know that. You know? Continue working hard doing what you have to do. Okay, Cancers? Thank you, Spirit. The Ten of Swords, Spirit. Oh, yes. You guys, continue to ask the divine, um, you know, to send you, to send you help, okay? You're not alone. Ask for it. God, help me. Wherever you fall, God, help me. You know what I'm saying? Come to my rescue. But, but as I see, she's here doing the work for you. But with this Ace of Swords, it's basically like... You calling on the divine or you just, you've been praying, you've been meditating, you've been doing everything that you can do. It's like you really don't see those opportunities coming, but good things are coming your way. Okay? These little things that you feel is major things is nothing. Okay, Cancer? If that makes sense. All right. Spirit, can you clarify the tower? What is the tower? Ooh, you guys. Too many came out. One fell on the floor. In a minute, I'm going to need a bigger desk. Yeah, I just think that. So you guys are coming out in your own energy. Some of you guys just feel like, you know, nothing is really set in stone. Like, what is going on? Like, why, why do I feel this way? Like, you're feeling like... Some of you could be feeling alone. But some of you is just really finding yourself. Like, it hurts. But you have to find yourself. So you can be dealing with a Scorpio. A Scorpio. Pisces. Leo. Sagittarius. Aries. Okay. So Spirit, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Too many came out. Yeah, cancers. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. You're trying to make sure that everything gets set in stone, okay? You don't want to mess nothing up. You want a relationship that is even, like... <sighs> You're trying to find yourself. You're trying to find yourself. You're trying to balance everything out. Okay. Some of you guys could be dating like an earth sign or air sign. Oh, you guys. I'm about to clarify this ace. This ace of swords, okay? So I hope this reading is resonating to someone, okay? I don't feel like it's like too much everywhere. I feel like I'm hitting it on the nose, okay? So it's like, do not miss out on your opportunity, okay? Continue to um, find yourself, surround yourself around good, positive people. 
Like, attract good. Like, it's not over. Don't think it's over. Don't miss out on opportunities because you're stuck in the shell. You're not trying to look around. You're not really trying to... This is just for a handful, you guys. It may sound like I'm fussing, but this is just the energy I'm getting from this reading, okay? It's like... Don't miss out on your opportunities, okay? This is for a handful. It's not over. See? You're thinking about like your childhood. You know, you're thinking about all that you've been through right now. But you still have a loving heart, you know. Some of you guys could, you know, just I'm getting like family of six or something like that. But this is like you guys, you get cups. You get, you're getting cups in your current energy. So it's more like you're putting your energy into what? Into things that will not make you feel like you're left out in the cold anymore. Wow. You're trying to make sure that the one you want is the one for you here. Still, why is the wheel of fortune? Look. Why is the wheel of, I'm not going to get this. Why is the wheel of fortune in reverse here for cancer spirit? Can you clarify, visualize, or firm manifest? Clarify, visualize, or firm manifest. Thank you, spirit. Then you get the, you guys need to ask for more strength, cancers. Okay. You guys need to ask for more strength because whatever you want is already here. And I think I said that in the last reading. Y'all doing better. You're not getting too many swords. You know, that was just your past energy. So it's like you need more strength, you guys. Find it within yourself, okay? Find out what you have to do to, you know, have the six of cups. The good family. See what you have to let go and walk away from. Right now is the time. This is your current energy. The divine is telling you. They give you tower. And then it's giving you to walk away and to let go of the things that is making you weak. You need to walk away from the things that's not attracting good potential in your life. It's time. It's time, Cassie. See? See? You guys, the death came out. So it's like you need to stop avoiding. Stop avoiding. You know what needs to be done. Stop playing with yourself. Because the divine is already here doing the work. There is light at the end of the tunnel right here. I'm not getting anything bad from it. You're walking away. You're walking away from the bull crap. That's what you need to be doing. What is the overall message for our cancers? There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is a lot of hope, a lot of faith. The overall message for cancer spirit? Yes. You guys, it's time to close some doors. It's, it's time to get out these third-party situations, codependence, things that is not serving you. It's time to walk away. It's just time. It's not serving you no purpose at all. You guys, you, you probably don't even know you're hurting the people around you because you're so close off. You're so distanced. You you know what I'm saying? It's like it's time to choke, close. It's time to choose. But as I can see, the divine is, is slowly for surely doing it for you. But all right, you guys, I am about to pull a word of encouragement for our cancers. Spirit, this is for cancers. Word of encouragement. This is for a water sign. Word of encouragement for cancers. Word of encouragement. What message, spirit? What message? Word of encouragement for cancers, spirit. This is for cancers. This is for cancer, spirit. I would like one to fall out. Just one. Just one. Just one. Just one, just one, one, just three. 
one card. I will pick. They want to the best of my All right. So, love never fails. Okay? So, for those that read the Bible, um, this is like 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 8. Okay? Love never fails. Okay? On the back of this card, it says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Okay? And I'm getting like Ezekiel chapter 3. Verses 11. But until next time, you guys, do not forget to like, share, comment um, below. You guys, I hope this really helps someone out. But until next time, bye. See you guys later.